Hi friends, good morning. Please look at the next problem. See, this is problem number 10 friends. Chapter 15 point, exercise 15.1 of chapter probability. Okay friends, a piggy bank contains 150 paise coins, 50, 1 rupee coins, 20, 2 rupee coins and 10, 5 rupee coins. If it is equally likely that one of the coins will fall when the bank is turned upside down, what is the probability that the coin will be a 50 pies coin and second question will not be a 5 pies coin. See a piggy bank, see we have different types of coins, 50 pies coins. 50 coins. We have 150 coins. We have 50 1 rupee coins. 1 rupee coins 50. And 22 rupee coins. 22 rupee coins. And 10 5 rupee coins. 10 5 rupee coins and 10 okay so total total 180 coins total see in that piggy bank it contains total 180 coins total 180 coins see here the question is if what is the probability that the coin will be a 50 pice coin so we want the probability of getting 50 pies coin. We want the probability of getting 50 pies coin. See probability of any event we know. See favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes. Favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes. Here otherwise total 50 pies coins. Total 50 pies coins by total number of all kinds. So, 50 pies coins, 50 pies coins, 50 pies coins by total number of coins, by total number of coins. This is the probability of getting 50 pies coins. 50 pies coins we have 100, 100 by total 180, NS, NS is equal to 180, this is equal to C, 25s. 29 5 by 9 is the required probability for this problem and the second question is what is the probability that it will not be a 5 rupee coin not be a 5 rupee coin so we want the probability that the coin is not 5 rupee coin so how many coins are there other than 5 rupees how many coins are there other than 5 rupees that is our favorable outcomes how many coins are there other than 5 rupees? So 170 other than other than 5 rupee coins. Other than 5 rupee coins, we have 170. So favorable outcomes here means 170. Favorable outcomes 170. And required probability. Probability that it will not be a 5 rupee coin. Probability that it is not 5 rupee coin. Probability of not 5 rupee coin. Probability of not 5 rupee coin is equal to favorable outcomes. That is coins other than 5 rupee. 170 by total number of coins as usual 180. 17 by 18 is the required probability for this question. Okay friends. <coughs> Let us see the next question. See, Gopi, Gopi buys a fish from a shop from his aquarium. The shopkeeper takes out one fish at random from a tank containing five male fish and eight female fish. Five male, five male and eight female fish. Eight female fish. What is the probability that the fish taken out is a male fish? So, we want the probability of getting male fish. We want the probability of getting a male fish. So, number of male fishes by total number of fish. Number of male fish. 
नंबर ऑफ नंबर ऑफ मेल फिश बाय टोटल नंबर ऑफ फिशेस दैट इज एन एस टोटल फिश दिस इज इक्वल टू मेल फिश फाइव टोटल नंबर थर्टीन फाइव बाय थर्टीन इज द रिक्वायर्ड प्रॉबिलिटी फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन ओके फ्रेंड्स लेट अस सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन A game of a game of chance, a game of chance consists of spinning an arrow which comes to rest point at one of the numbers one to eight. See, this is a game of chance. It's a game of chance. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a game of chance. Spinning an arrow. See, spinning arrow. It comes to the rest point at some at some particular number. See, and these are equally likely outcomes. What is the probability that it will point at eight? That it will point at eight. Say so how many eights are there? Only one eight is there. So probability of probability of resting at eight. Probability of resting at eight is equal to favorable outcomes one by total number of outcomes eight. One by eight is the required probability for the first question, friends. Let us take the second one. Let us take the second one. An odd number that uh, the arrow the arrow rests at uh, an odd number. How many odd numbers are here? One, two, three, four odd numbers are here. Four odd numbers are. So probability of resting at odd number, at odd number, is equal to favorable outcome. That is number of odd. How many odd numbers odd digits are there? Four by eight. Four by eight. That is equal to one by two is the required probability <coughs> for the second question. And let us see the third question, friends. What is the third question? Number greater than two. That it rests. It rests at a number greater than two. So greater than two means one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six favorable outcomes. Greater than rests at greater than greater than two. Greater than two. There are six numbers. So favorable outcomes six. Total number of outcomes eight. To threes, to fours, three by four is the required probability. Three by four is the required probability. Okay, friends. Let us last question. A number less than nine. So <coughs> here there are eight numbers. All are less than nine. All are less than nine. So P of resting at P of resting at less than less than. Nine friends, this is a sure event. This is a sure event. Here, all the numbers are all the eight numbers are less than nine, less than nine. So let it stop at any number that will be less than nine. That will be less than nine. So it is a sure event. Probability is one. You can do eight by eight. Eight by eight. That is equal to one. Eight by eight. That is equal to. One or otherwise, uh, it is a sure event. We know the probability of sure event. Uh, the probability of sure event is uh, one. Uh, so your answer is uh, one. Okay, friend. <coughs> Let us see the next question. Question number thirteen. Friends, uh, a similar problem of this kind also. I would like to discuss with you, share with you. See a game of chance. This is. Uh, Included in problem number twelve, problem number twelve, a game of chance consists of spinning an arrow which is equally likely to come to the rest rest point, rest point into one of the numbers one to twelve, one to One, two, three, four, 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व सो हियर वी हैव ट्वेल्व नंबर्स हियर वी हैव ट्वेल्व नंबर्स ए गेम ऑफ चार्ज कंसिस्ट ऑफ ट्वेल्व नंबर्स व्हाट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट इट विल पॉइंट एट सिक्स इट विल पॉइंट एट सिक्स हियर वी हैव ओनली वन सिक्स probability of pointing at 6 is equal to 1 by total number of cases 12 and the second question and the second question pointing at a prime number pointing at a prime number how many prime numbers are here 1 2 is a prime number so probability of prime number probability that it will rest at the prime number favorable cases favorable cases favorable outcomes favorable outcomes to 3 5 7 11 2 3 5 7 11 these are the five favorable outcomes prime numbers all these are prime numbers so prime numbers 2 3 5 7 11 five favorable outcome so probability of resting at a prime number probability of resting at a prime number is equal to 5 by total number of cases 12 5 by 12 is the probability for the second event and third question a number a number which is a multiple of 5 which is a multiple of 5 so third question a multi probability of resting at a multiple of 5 resting at a multiple of 5 friends how many multiples are 5 are there 5 10 there are two outcomes favorable 5 and 10 favorable outcomes 5 and 10 by total number 12 2 by 12 that is 1 by 6 is the required probability so this type of questions is a similar question to our question answer Next, uh, let us see problem number. Uh, let us see the problem number thirteen of exercise fifteen point one of uh, probability. Okay, friends. <coughs> A die is thrown once. This is problem number thirteen, friends. A die is thrown once. Find the probability of getting. See simple problem. See if a die is thrown. If a die is thrown, what are the possible outcomes? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so n of s n of s number of elements in the sample space will be 6 now let us see what probability we want what to define the probability of getting a prime number so how many prime numbers are there probability of getting a, a prime number favorable outcomes 2 is a prime number 3 is a prime number 5 is a prime number so favorable outcomes 3 by total number of is 6 probability is 1 by 2 that is first question and uh, second question a number lying between 2 and 6 probability of number lying between uh, lying between lying between 2 and 6 so 2 and 6 there are three numbers 3 4 5 3 4 5 are lying between 2 and uh, 6 so favorable outcomes to 3 by total number of outcomes of 6, 3 by 6, 1 by 2 is the required probability for the second question. And the third question, uh, an odd number. Of course, odd numbers, uh, fear of getting uh, an odd number. Favorable outcomes, 1, 3, 5. 3 outcomes are there, 3 odd numbers are there, 3 odd numbers are there. By total number 6, 3 by 6. So, required probability is uh, 1 by 2. Okay, friends, thank you. Have a nice day.